Well, hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. They call me K, and it's a pleasure and honor being with you today. Look, at we've driven 35 kilometers. It seems a lot, but probably isn't. Uh, but I'm happy about it. It's as far as I've ever driven in this game. So, you know, take it for that. Before we get into this episode, let me go ahead and uh, read off a couple of comments from the last episode. Let me just make this clear, though. Uh, I do not get comments instantly. YouTube hides some of my con comments, so when I reply sometimes, or like or heart some of your comments, sometimes I don't even get it until like a couple days after. I don't know why. It's very frustrating. It's very, ir very irritating, uh, but it is what it is. So here's a tip. Probably common knowledge, but a very good tip, a very good reminder that I should have probably have done. <laughs> Make sure you close your tanks so you don't lose fuel and liquids. That's a very valid point. I don't know why I thought I could just drive off or maybe drive off without closing the caps or making sure the caps weren't closed. So that's a very good thing. Also, another thing. Um, I don't really need a coolant tank to have the proper stuff in it for the vehicle to work, apparently. But it will overheat. So if it overheats and you're driving down the road, it's going to cause problems. And it's going to be very frustrating, however. Now, we could have done a, for the big truck, right? The big truck that we're actually next to right now. It couldn't start because it didn't have diesel. Now, I really thought that was the case. I was thinking this truck needs diesel, not gas. But why would there be gas in it? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so it does need diesel. Uh, we could do an engine swap, which if we engine swapped it, I believe then it could go on gas. Uh, but the, it wouldn't have enough enough power, so that's not recommended. So thank you for that. The black smoke that I was concerned about for this whole time was just my exhaust. Um, it's okay. Look at me. I'm like peeling skin because I had a sunburn on my forehead. Forehead. Uh, but if you see a bunch of white smoke pouring out of the engine, that means we are going to blow it up. So that's, you know, that's, that's all good. Also, the snake thing, the coil, I should have it because listen to this. You guys probably already know this, but you could actually siphon liquids. Dude, I didn't know that. That's amazing. So I got to get a coil now. I'm, I'm going to be looking at a coil. I, I thought that was like, dude, it'd be kind of hard if you couldn't, um, you know, if you couldn't siphon anything out. Um, also, do not use the sword to fight any rabbits because they will Randy Orton your ass. All right. Found that found that one out. Uh, very, very clear. All right. So no fighting the, the rabbits indeed. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this freaking. Oh, here we are. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. We are here. It is bright. Um, yeah, so, there, you know, honestly, there's a couple of... What the hell is the genie doing back here? A genie? All right, I, I think we're okay. What is this? Is this a coolant tank? I think that is a coolant tank. It is. Let's actually bring this with us, just in case. I don't think this came off of uh, the truck or anything. I think this was just... Um, and an extra one now Yeah, let's actually take this. It's probably a good idea. There is a rabbit over there I am a little bit terrified now that the fact that they can whoop my ass uh, Now I'm really terrified. All right, so we have a little oil thing. What the hell is this? That's part of a cactus uh, Let's go ahead and take our fuel uh, Jerry can as well because we're gonna need that I think we are gonna have to pass on the truck as much as I don't want to pass on the truck, I think we're going to have to pass on the truck for now. We just don't have the right tools and we don't have the right resources for any of that stuff. That does have water in it. Okay. All right. So slam that. Let's go ahead and jump in the car and let's uh, let's continue our journey for sure. Uh, start this bad boy up. Thank you very much. Turn on the radio. And let's get digging. I almost forgot to take the handbrake off. I was like, did we break our car? I really am sad about the fact that we are losing this. Like, I did not want to, like, go away from that truck. But, you know, apparently we just didn't have the, we didn't have the resources. We didn't have the right resources, so it's okay. So I am going to need a gun, and I think I do have a gun. I think I have a magnum. I need ammo for the gum, gun, though, not gum, gun, uh, so that, you know, I, I mean... I, I guess having the sword is cool, um, but it's not ideal to fight with at all. <laughs> unless unless you just got to be a professional, which I am not a professional katana-wielding person. The only time I've ever experienced anything with katanas um, would have to be my Hayabusa armor in Halo 3, but that that's, that's a different story. Look at the road on this. Holy zigzag. All right. So we'll continue driven, driving, driving down this uh, road until holy crap again with the zigzags. What the hell is going on here? 
until we find another point of interest. All right. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. Holy crap. All right, so wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coming up on our left here is a, is a, a cross of some sort, maybe. What is this? Oh, my God. Turn this down. Turn this down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. What in the world do we have here? Looks like we're just, you know. All right. <laughs> I think that's... Uh... Dude, there's something way out there, but I do not want to lose our road, so I think we're okay. All right. So, a little bit of strange things here and there, but that, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and keep continuing. Now, if I look over to the left here, this watchtower, or maybe like... Uh, a deer stand is getting closer so we actually might be very close to this deer stand let's go ahead and drive on over there just in case maybe there's you know i mean we found a gun last time i think but maybe there's like i don't know some ammo to the gun all right let's just slow down a little bit things do come up way faster than they appear all right just like stop stop here probably put the handbrake on probably turn off the car and like get not push the car get out of the car yeah once you like stay away from this game for like a couple of um a couple of days it is for sure like you gotta like relearn the controls a little bit that's all right so let's see here oh oh okay 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 what do we have we have we have gas this is uh this is great let's pick this up and carefully turn around and drop it Hopefully that doesn't destroy it. <laughs> and there is another gun. Now, let me actually just make sure that we have a gun. Okay, we do have a gun. So we don't need another gun. So let's just drop down. I don't know if there is, like, falling damage in this game. Uh, I am, like, in a very weird position here. Leg out. Fantastic. All right. There we go. Okay. So we do have some gas here. So let, let's let's do it, partner. Oh, wait, where's the gas gauge in this again? Or the, the fuel tank? Oh, it's in it's in here. It's in here. Right? How much? I mean, 90% gas. 2.1 liters. I don't think that's a bad... Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Get away. Get actually away. Actually, like, get away from me. Are you mad? Are you actually mad? That was a genuine, like, holy shit. I am terrified. Is he dead? Get me the hell out of here. The music's bumping. Holy crap. Bad. Bad. I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> like, what the, what the frick? Like, send him. Get him out of here. Get the gas and get the hell out of here. Jeez Louise. Oh, my God. Oh, my. No. Now he's now he's dumping the. We're, we're a freaking mess, dude. We're act. Just throw it in there. There we go. <laughs> get it. Get it. Oh, my God. We're a freaking mess. I think maybe the, the, the radio might have attracted that, that gentleman. I don't even know. Holy Lord. Oh, my God. I think we got extremely lucky there. Um, I've never been so terrified in my life. This is why I don't play scary games. Um, the point being is that I am, I'm a scaredy cat. Therefore, I don't play scary games. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. All right, let's continue with the road and hopefully find something worthwhile here. Something that's not going to scare the bejeebus out of me. Jesus. Good lord. Hey, rabbit! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh my god! What in the actual hell just happened? Whoa, 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 Sam. Time out. Time out. By the way, there's a light in the car. Someone told me that. <laughs> um, uh, reassess, please. Reassess. All 
All right, I, th I think we're okay. <laughs> I think we are okay. Oy, oy, oy. Never will I ever give the rabbit the bird again. Now, excuse me. Okay, I will admit that our entire car maybe have gone a little bit unadjusted there for a sec, but that's all right. There is a building coming up here, thankfully. Um, Dude, that was a hell of a ride. Uh, what is this? This looks like a little, like, not a gas station. Little building? What is this? <gasps> there's a bike, dude. There's a bike. Oh, dude, there's a bike. Oh, baby. What do we got going on here? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Put the brake on. Jump out of this thing. Thank you very much. Hello. How are you? Shut the door. No, no rabbits. I, you know, got to be more like conscious of the fact that there is rabbits around these parts. Let's go in here. What is this? I sure. Oh. Uh. Hello. Oh, there's stuff here. What is this? Okay, so we got a little bit of oil action going on there. That's good. What is this? Is this more oil? More oil? This has gas and oil in it. I mean, hell. <laughs> is this one of those lights? I think those are one of the lights. Um, right. Let me let me see. Can I like turn it on? Or do I have to like unequip it then turn it on? Oh my god. Now. No, no, no. Now. No. Now. Oh. Yeah, you can use this as kind of like a little flashlight in a way, right? Okay, there you go. You can actually turn it on and off right there. Um, let's actually not do that. Let's actually put this... Can we, like, possibly, like, throw this into, like... Jesus. Can we actually put this in the, um... You know what? Easier solution? Just go around. Put this in the passenger seat, please. Like, right... Right there on the seat. There we go. All right, fantastic. How did the stuff handle when we hit that rock and did like a full 180 in like midair or <laughs> 360? I don't even know, dude. I think we did a barrel roll. That was pretty impressive. Now, what? It looks like we have some kind of paint. Is that white? Can we use this? I'm going to use it on like the doors that aren't painted correctly. Is this working? I guess it's like a gray? I got yeah, like a silver or a gray. I guess that kind of worked. I don't know, dude. Barely works. Doesn't work very well. But it's alright, I guess. Just send it. Yeah, we don't need it. Just send it. <clears throat> right, you know, I should probably have the katana out. Let's actually turn the lights on. Hello? <gasps> Water. There is water. Don't need water. There is a car hood. Hello. Wait a sec. Will this fit on the car we have now? It probably could, uh, but will it? That's another discussion to have. Make sure we pull this thing out. Wow, there's crap everywhere. Literally crap. Let's actually see if this will fit on our car. If it will, dude, it's fantastic, right? All right, so here we go. First time ever. Trying to put something on the car. Oh my god. Okay, so that thing is not closed. Now it's closed. We talked about this in the beginning of the episode. Oh, it fits, but it's not the correct one. But it's alright. We At least we have a hood. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. Now there was something out here. What is this? I, 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 I rather not. I, I do not want that. Ooh, my god. It's like accurate though. Like if you ever go to like a porta potty in real life, or maybe any like not any, but most public restrooms, it seems like this is the actual result when you walk into the stall or porta potty. It's like people didn't aim for the hole; they just aimed wherever they wanted. That's an accurate. I would say that's pretty accurate. Now there is this bike. I am a little curious of the bike, because if the bike goes fast, baby, we might be in town here. Dude, there's a katana up here. 
Oh, cool. So if you didn't know, possible Kitana location. There you go. Uh, bike, possible mirror. Uh, what is this? Uh, matches. I don't know what matches are for. I'll be honest with you. And this is looks like to be orange. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll go back under here and we'll shut the doors here, um, and we'll, we'll we'll get a little shut eye uh, before the uh, you know before the night creeps in. All right, so now we are back. Open the door. There we go. Um, there could be an argument made, like, you know what? Probably oil. Like, a little bit of oil added to the vehicle might be a good idea. But, like, are we even taking the, the vehicle? I don't even know. Like, because now we have a bike possibility here. It is still kind of dark out here. It's kind of interesting. That sun is bright. I can't see if there's this freaking rabbit. I thought I saw something in the distance. I thought I saw like a dust trail, but maybe it was a sun ray. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and like get on this. Uh, and turn it on. Oh, baby. Look at us go. No. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard a rabbit. Okay. This seems to me that it is not working correctly. Right? Or maybe now it, now it is. Okay, so I believe you can drive this as a bike, right? You could drive it as a bike, or if it was electric, or if you, you know, you had the, the right everything in it, you could probably um, drive it with, uh, with a motor. Now, I'm assuming 100% oil in this right here is probably not the, um, I don't, I don't think that's correct. I don't think this thing is going to be take, okay, that, that sucks. I don't think this thing takes oil. It should probably just take gas, right? I, I, I assume it only takes gas or it should only take gas. Like this, excuse me, this thing can't just run on oil. Just checking my surroundings. I am very paranoid after our earliest episode. Okay, so how are we doing now? Okay, so it is still, you know. Okay, there we go. Now, how to stand it up correctly. That's the hardest part about these freaking bikes, dude. Okay. Okay, now just, just put it down. Put it down gently. Okay, put it down gently. <gasps> we did it! All right. Great. Now, you might be asking, where the hell are you going to get the gas? Well, let's be honest. There was a little bit of gas right here, right? 78% gas, 22% uh, oil. So yeah, we have this at least. Um, let's not like, you know, dump it out here. So let's try this. Let's see what happens when we do this. Uh, fill it, please. What? Uh, what? Excuse me, what? Is it done? 0 0.4 of, wait, was that all? That was it. Oh, close it. Get on. Now start it up. Yo! He actually did it. Oh my God. I'll be honest with you. This is louder than hell, but oh my God. Look at us go, dude. How awesome! I figured it out! Oh my god. I am like blown away. <laughs> am I doing circles? Yeah, I'm doing circles. Dude, this is amazing. Alright, well this is great. Alright, turn that bad boy off. So, now you're thinking like, how cool would it be to like have a truck and like a trailer and like haul this thing around? Yeah, it'd be pretty damn cool. Um, so yeah, at least we know how that works. So there's nothing better than to know when something goes correctly, right? Um, but I am going to keep the car for, for for now. Let's go ahead and test out this orange. Might as well, right? Let's just test it out on this hood. You know what? Bad idea. 
Let's test it out on the back here. I feel like having the back bumper, this bright orange, um, if it is bright orange, I don't even know if it is bright orange. I guess it's a orange. Uh, might be good. Just, you know what? I don't even have it. I don't. I, I don't have it. I don't have a have an explanation. So I'll be honest with you. Terrible color. Let's just get the hell out of here. You know what? Let me, for the time being, let me actually just take a screenshot of what we just accomplished here, because that was quite incredible. I will say, quite quite incredible. Jeez. All right. All right, let's get inside. Jesus Christ. Shut the door, turn the ignition on, and let's head to the next spot. Hopefully we have enough gas. You know, I, you know what? I, this thing doesn't burn too much gas unless we really had a lot of gas to start out with. Uh, you know, I, I am still trying to figure that part out and how much gas is... How much gas is actually worth in this game? I would assume that it's a lot. There is a tower coming up right around the corner here. Big tower. I wonder if it's that same tower that we got water from in the last episode. Could be. Uh, but I'm still trying to figure out how how much of gas is valuable. I mean, yeah, gas is valuable, but like, how much do you consume it? Maybe cer certain vehicles consume it more than other vehicles? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Probably, dude. Um, yeah, so this looks like that big, huge tower that the water was at in the last episode. If it is, and it's just the water, I will be a little disappointed. Uh, but if it's something different that we can go into, maybe some resources also, I will be a little bit happy. I just saw... Oh, dude, these bunnies, man. Why Why? Why was it like... Why rabbits? Why, why was that a thing? Like, why did they choose rabbits for this? I say they, and who knows? It could be a single person that developed this, this game. Uh, but why choose rabbits? I don't know. So, yeah, this is a singular tower. Not accessible. However, does provide water. Let's slam on the brakes here. Does provide water, and I don't think anything else other than a light. Now, it seems to me that there's a lot of opportunities to, to gain water. Why is that? Why is it important to get water? It seems like water is very accessible. Even that last building that we were just at with the bike, there was a place for water. I feel like there's water everywhere we go. Like, I know it's a desert, but like, we don't have to worry about hydration in this game. And could you imagine if you did like, a, if there was like a survival mode to this where you had to concentrate on your hydration and your food? Dude. That would make things spicy, I will tell you that. It'd be a very, very spicy time. Spicy time to be alive. I would love it. I admit it, I would love it. Now, there is something off to the right here. I can't see with my mirror in the way. And I'm not gonna risk it for a biscuit right now because there is some telephone poles, possible rocks in the road here. Maybe I was just seeing something. I think it might have been just another deer stand. Yeah, I think it's just another deer stand. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll continue until we... Uh, oh, there might be that place way down there that we're about to approach. All right, I'll see you then. All right. I'm going to turn down the radio here because it does look like we are approaching our buildings here. Um, and at a first glance, this might look like the buildings that I had approached um, in the beginning, or not the beginning, in our episode of Let's Look at the Long Drive. Um, I think I might have been to one of these buildings before, maybe, not if, maybe both of them I've been to. Um, so I at least know what they kind of look like. Like, no, this looks different though, because there's like a catwalk. Let's slow down a little bit. I wonder if there'll be any good goodies here. Good goodies. Oh my god, there's a bus. There's an actual bus. All right. This. Holy crap. <laughs> holy crap. There's a freaking bus, dude. Oh, my Lanta. All right, all right, all right. However, this is like the most terrible looking bus of all time. So yeah, in our Let's Look At episode of The Long Drive, we found a bus at a restaurant that was like pristine. This one looks awful. It looks awful. Um... 
Just taking a look, make sure there's no rabbits that are gonna bite me in the ass. Uh, so we have some pallets, it looks like, pallets. Um, a bus. Now, I was told that you can get into the bus by... Now, I wait a sec. Yeah, so I wonder if you can get into the bus from crawling. Oh, dude, you can actually get into the motor and stuff, at least from here. I think you can get into it somehow. Oh, my God. Now, this is going to take a lot of more comments. There was a... Okay, so fuel tank. It runs on gas. Well, at least it says it runs on gas. Um, I don't know if buses in real life take gas or diesel. They might take just gas, for sure. Um... There was someone that uh, that mentioned how to get into the bus and, and start it, I believe. Um, which, if you would be so kind to reapply to that, uh, reply to me on that again, I'd be much appreciated. I think what we need to do is actually turn on the bus in order for these um, for the doors to open, maybe. Unless there's a spot that you go to. Let me actually see here. Let me let me take a look here. So dismount. Oh wait, is it this? Oh, there we go. Okay, so never mind. Um, yeah, I thought it was under here. Okay, so great. The hatchet, then you get... What? Okay, so then you get in the bus. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's huge potential here. There is huge potential here. All right, let's go inside these buildings and see if there's anything that, that can help us with our uh, rusted old bucket here. Like, can this help us? What is it? Great question. Um, uh, there's water. Doesn't look like we need water. Not a lot in here, I'll be honest with you. Let's go ahead and go up, I guess. Up a level. This will go over here. This will give us... I mean, there's a back seat. But look, there is the jizz in it. That will be like at 7, which is terrible. We'll just send that over there. Though, for the time being. Um, anything else up here? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, we'll cross. Might as well turn the lights on. Why not? There we go. All right, so the lights are on. We'll go through the catwalk here. Yo, what is this? Okay, so more gas. Um, if it will be for our bus or for our car, that's to be determined. Yeah, we'll go up here. Go, go, go. A toilet, not what we're looking for. A door to nowhere. Probably something we're looking for. Um, uh, no, no, no. You don't understand. Get off the ladder and then go onto the ladder. There you go. Good job. Good job. Okay, does this go anywhere? Now, there is some things on the catwalk, but it looks like it's just an arm. That's not going to help us at all. That's terrible. I'll be honest with you. Not a lot going on here as far as resources go. Go up here. What is that? Let me guess. Nothing. Doesn't look like any. Looks like a basket, actually, to uh, to a bike. That might be a basket to a bike. All right. So, admittedly, not a lot going on here. Which kind of sucks. I will say. Kind of sucks. Maybe something out of the window here. Um, I was expecting more resources. More, like, scrubbies, maybe. Uh, more jizzinets, maybe. There's a purple paint, which isn't too bad, actually. I will take that. Um, yeah. Not not a lot. Not a lot. I will see if the bus is going to run for us, though. That's for sure. I don't think you can paint on the rust, so I'm going to leave this over here by the car. This might be actually the new color to our car. I'll be honest with you. That's kind of cool. Put that right there for now. All right, so let's see what the jizzinet can do with us. I don't know if it's going to do any good for us. With the rust, like I said. Uh, but, it's you know, it's only seven in here, so it's worth a try, I guess. Have a great day. <laughs> All right, so let's actually take a look at this uh, <clears throat> bus entirely. Uh, excuse me. Now, I should... I should be able to get in here, right? Maybe. There's the coolant. Okay, so the coolant's at 100%, which is good. 
Now the question is, how would one actually get in here? Oh my god, I don't know how to get in here. Alright, hang on a sec. We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Alright, so all I had to do was I had to sit sit i guess sit in in the in the in the freaking chair all right hi how are you um oh my god open i think i opened the back one <laughs> open okay so i think i closed the back one let's just sit down sit down first turn on this car or vehicle okay so a first first look, it's not turning on, right? Oh, do you have the freaking lights on? Oh! Okay, you can have like every door open. Okay, that's cool. Rather have the lights on. Um. Yeah, so there is a little bit of an issue here. Not entirely sure what it could be. Uh, so let's actually hop out of this real quick. Yep. There we go. At least we know now. What is that? I think it's one of those stop things. Like, oh, stop right here, please. All right. So it is getting dark. Let's go over here and we'll sleep. Uh, the reason why is because I really would not want to, like, record something when it's really dark. Just because, you know, YouTube, it's like, you know, yeah, I don't need to explain it to you, but you understand. I'd rather you guys see what the hell I'm doing in the daytime. There we go. All right, so let's see. Now, let's take a look at the, the motor and everything itself. Like, is there anything missing from this? So, we know the coolant actually has water in it. <clears throat> And again, the reason why it might not be turning on, turning over, is probably because it takes diesel and doesn't take gas, right? I would assume this takes diesel, right? And that could be it for sure. So if you take a look here, where did it go? Right here. Fuel tank. 97% gas. It, we don't need gas. We probably need diesel. Um... But yeah, I think that's going to I think that's going to could be a good question down for everyone on the comment section. Let's actually go ahead and paint this bad boy up. Oh baby, look at now. Oh, I want it bright, dude. I want to stick out. Oh yes, this looks good. Got to do the back for once for once and all, right? Since it's been like mix matched colored for so long. There we go. Get the yellow bumper out of here at least. Yeah, it's not evenly proportioned. Um, I, I realize that, but it's at least better than what it was before, right? If we can get another purple paint, I think we can make this thing look pretty badass. Yeah, but I think that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to smash that like button. If you are new to the channel and you are new to the, our long, long drive series, consider hitting that subscribe button. We post content every single day, just about. Not every single day, but very... Daily. Very daily. Um, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today, and I will see you in the next one. Do take care.